at no point am I surprised that Pride has 7.8 out of 10 as an average overall rating on IMDb. This film is pretty great. Given the subject matter of this, this is absolutely a film that could have gone either way. It could have been a film that, you know, people found offensive and maybe misrepresentative. Or it could have been a film that was really powerful and poignant and, you know, really moving and essential. And I feel like that is exactly what has been delivered. This is, you know, biographical. It looks at UK gay, act- gay activists um, who were helping minors during the minor strike of the National Union of Mine Workers in 1984. It's not a subject I know too much about, but I know enough about it to kind of understand the gist of what was going on um, for the most part. If you are maybe not British and you're not really fully aware of the impact of what happened to the miners in the 80s and, and how it affected lives, maybe do a little bit of quick googling around that. I just think a little bit of background knowledge will make this a more powerful film for when you're watching it. But you know, either way, you don't need to go and research it or anything. It is um, enjoyable on its own. It was released in 2014, directed by Mark Matthew Warkus and written by Stephen Beresford. And, you know, we're dealing with a pretty great cast here. I have to say, I love Bill Nye in this. I love Imelda Staunton. Really, you know, fantastic cast across the board. Absolutely no complaints there, of course. Now, this film is quite long. It's about two hours, which is not, not an unusual length for something this serious but I also have to say this is a comedy it is a comedy drama and I think that that is perfect because it is taking quite a serious subject and something that still affects people today both in terms of the the gay support for minors which seems like a really odd pairing but actually when you watch the film you can see how wonderful the efforts were for people to raise awareness, to raise money. Um, it's really moving and, and really quite emotional, to be, per- to be perfectly honest. Um, it's very well executed. The costumes are wonderful, absolutely beautiful costumes. I really love them. Uh, the locations and everything are brilliant. Acting is great. For me, the development of the narrative as a film, as a story worked really well you know the intensity increased increased then we had a little bit of light relief with the comedy and then you know another problem was thrown into the mix and I was genuinely rooting for the characters to overcome these problems I could feel their passion I could feel their determination really they take a very important moment in British history and and recent British history and, and they tell this story very well now as I said I wasn't really that aware about this um, particular movement. So I can't say exactly how accurate it is, but certainly the little bits and pieces and things feel realistic to me. Everything is believable at the very least. But if you know otherwise, if you know if you've taken creative liberties at any point, you know, let me know. I'm happy to be educated about these things. It's definitely a film that will appeal to everybody in some way. I feel like there is something in this for everybody, whether it's a character you relate to, or you just enjoy films that are really emotive, or, you know, you like historical biographical films. It is also a BAFTA winner. It won the outstanding debut by a British writer, director, or producer for Beresford and Livingstone, which, you know, I completely understand. It won uh, nine other awards. It won uh, the Queer Palm at Cannes, which is not an award I'd heard of. Um, definitely going to see what else won that and check out some of those films. Obviously won a lot of LGBT things. Uh, it did exceptionally well in terms of accolades. The public reception seems to have been brilliant. It's really a well-loved film and I, I can see why. So definitely check it out. I think I was going to say check it out if you like this or if you like that. But actually just if you enjoy films, watch Pride. I'm not sure if I'd say it's a film you need to see before you die, but certainly I'd say it's a good contender. It's powerful, it's moving, it's entertaining, informative, educational, enlightening, emotional. It ticks all of the boxes and is definitely worth watching.